Who is your favorite pit master's favorite pit master? What's going on, Tremendous Q fans? This is your boy here, Wade Morris, owner of Pitmaster Tremendous Q. And today, I got a real quick unboxing video for you guys. We're gonna be checking out the Thermal Works billows, okay? Now, before I go any further, don't forget to click that subscribe button and cut on notifications so you know when you, when you get all the latest content here on the channel, all right? Let's jump into this unboxing. So, I got this because I recently picked up the Gorilla Grill Calm. I will link that in this video so you guys can go over and check it out. But it is a Kamado cooker equivalent to the Big Green Egg. Make sure I have my address there, you know. Oh, uh, let's see. This is just the ordering information. Top gives, got some probe replacement. Uh, the thermal work signals, I got that. Highly recommend it. Um, I can check out, you can check out a link for that in the description down below as well. We got the Thermaworks temperature at home. Looks like this is a, okay, it's kind of a, like a, basically a brochure of all the different items that Thermaworks offers. So we'll set that to the side. America's Test Kitchen. Activate free one month all access. America's Test Kitchen through Thermaworks. Looks like they got a partnership. You can check that out too, all right? What do we got? Oh, oh, oh. Jelly bees, jelly belly. Okay, boom, this is it. Thermalworks Billows, okay? So what does this thing do? This, the Thermalworks Billows is a fan accessory for Thermalworks compatible controllers. Long story short, you stick this on the vent, the bottom vent of your Kamado cooker or your Weber Smoky Mountain or any other grill that is compatible with this fan. And similar to the DigiQ or the OTQ, you can or the cyber queue you basically can through your phone or an application so you still use charcoal and wood but it actually sets the temp and it monitors the temperature for you all right so this takes all of the artwork essentially out of the barbecue fire management process it essentially makes the fire management process a, a kind of a one-stop shop there with your phone you hit your easy button you set the temperature and you can walk away all right Let's see what this thing looks like. All right. Come on, get out of here. Okay. It's not too heavy, but it does have some weight to it. This is the rubber silicone hose. So this is the fan. When you put it on, the, uh, the directions do say that you want to put it down so that rain, water, sleet, hail, snow doesn't get on the inside of the fan and uh, damage the inside of the unit, all right? And then this is the protective silicone cover. You pop that in and now it's ready for storage. This is the end that looks like it's gonna attach to the cooker. We have a adapter. So this is to hook up two billows, it looks like. We have a USB-C on both ends, USB-C Type-C adapter cable. And, ah, okay. So this is a piece of uh, basically like sheet sticker, metal sticker, essentially. And what you would do is if you have too big of an opening on your on the cooker where you attach the bellows, you, you would squeeze these two wires in right here, then the mesh creates that air, airtight seal. Well, if this opening is still too big, you can use these to cover some of the uh, perforated holes. And I actually have this uh, perforated holes on my Grilla Grills Kong, okay? I'm gonna set this right there. The last thing that I got was, I did a little research on the Grilla Grill site, and it looks like I did need the adapter kit. So essentially, these are two plates that are, it's a small plate and a large plate. Let me take them out so I can show you guys. It's a small plate and a large plate. I'll only need one of these. I have not tested this out yet because this is an unboxing video, but by the time I post this video, I will have tested this out to see which one I need. It looks like, let me see. Yeah, 
So this, yeah, the blue, the blue is just a protective covering. So one is a large plate, one is a small plate. Hold it up just like this so you guys can see it. So one is a large plate and a small plate. You attach these to your to your Gorilla Grills or your Kamado Joe, Vision Works, Monolith, whatever it is the cooker that you're using. And then the two metal pieces will fit on the inside. And then now if the opening on the cooker is larger than what would have been for the mouth of the billows, now you got this sheet right here, this sheet of metal to help close that opening. All right, so this is it. This is the Thermal Work Bellows, all right? It's a fan that monitors the cook processing for your Kamado Joe type cooker or your Kamado type cooker, those ceramic cookers that are out there, but it also works really well on rubber smoky mountains, like I mentioned earlier. Heck, I've even seen guys use these on some traditional offsets and reverse flow offsets. Obviously, it's not gonna be some of those larger cookers you see on the competition trail, but some of the smaller ones that you see in your backyard, all right? So I appreciate you guys checking out this video. Okay, I actually had one more quick thought. So I do own the Thermalworks Signals and I got the case for it. So I decided to see if this billow will fit in this case so that I can store everything together. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to figure out something else as far as storage goes. So let's get the silicone cover back on. Set that to the side, back to the side. This is going to fit. Let's see. Well, let's start. Set that right there. Um, well, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Alright. Okay. That is a really tight fit. It does fit, um, it's a tight fit, but it does fit. But the signals, obviously, is not in there. Um, as you can see, it's got one, two, three on this side. So because the these, these two compartments over here, if this was one compartment, I could probably fit the signals on this side. It looks like I would be able to do that if this was just one compartment. So hint, hint, thermal works. Uh, let's see, so I take my probes out this side I almost guarantee you this is not gonna work because the top of this would be hitting on this side over here but we're gonna give it a try and I can barely get the signals in on this side okay I heard something pop yeah no no this okay so with a little bit of force maybe a lot of bit of force. I got that in there. It doesn't close, okay? Uh, for anybody wondering what this wood is for, I actually set this on top of my cooker in between the thermal works and the cooker, basically to act as like a heat barrier, okay? So, all right, well, cool. I don't know what the pop was. Looks like everything is still okay. So bottom line is you cannot fit the thermal work signals and the so easily this comes out, billows in the same thermal works container. Looks like I, I looks like I need gonna need a separate storage container for this or a separate storage container for the thermal works signals. So I'm going to have to figure that out. But for those of you that are wondering, yeah, I wanted to go ahead and throw that in on this video as well, okay? One last, last final thought. I just thought of this as I was packing up. Why did I get the Thermalworks Billows over say the DigiQ or the CyberQ that I was talking about earlier? Well, bottom line is I already had the signals and the Billows is I think $64 and on sale was like $50 during the holidays. So this made significantly more financial sense for me than it did, uh, than the UltraQ or the CyberQ did. Those, the, the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, the, which is the most expensive version of the, the DigiQ or the CyberQ is $300. And 
$64 at the retail price for this compared to $300. I, there was just no way I could have justified any, just by paying the additional $235-ish dollars when I already had a signal. So it essentially did everything that that device was gonna do. The Wi-Fi connection, the Bluetooth connection, the app connection with you power to your Android device or your iPhone. So I went with the Thermalworks Billows over the DigiQ simply because I already had the Thermalworks signal. So I just stayed in the same family and saved myself a little over $200, all right? Okay, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for checking out the video. We'll see you guys in the next video here on the Tremendous Cuse Cooking Channel. Peace.